What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using a fan favorite. We got ourselves a Lugia team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Lugia, this Pokemon is pretty bulky defensively and special defensively, but its special attacking is kind of lackluster. So we're pairing it up with the move Combine to give it a nice special defense boost. Furthermore, that special attack boost to make this thing hit like an absolute truck and be bulky at the same time. Lugia over here is rocking an amazing ability of multi-scale with the Covert Cloak as item so it can't be faked out or take any additional effects. It's got Aeroblast, which is the signature move, Earth Power for coverage, Calm Mind like we already mentioned, and last but not least, it does have Protect. For our support Pokemon, we got Comfy and we have Incineroar. Comfy's going to be good to heal up our Lugia. It's going to be also good to make it do more damage with Helping Hand. It also has Trick Room and Draining Kiss. We love Comfy, especially due to its ability Triage, giving it first turn priority with any healing moves. Like I mentioned, we have Incineroar. This Pokemon's going to be good for setting up Lugia because you can pair them up together, fake out an opponent, and then have Lugia just set up Combine. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But our final three Pokemon on today's team is Ogre Pond, Urshfu, and Gargoyle. Now, Gargonackle, we just used in our one of our most recent videos, and this thing is awesome. It's got Purifying Salt, with Leftover, Salt Cure, Iron Defense, Body Press, and Wide Guard, which is such a good move in Regulation G. Then Urshfu and Ogre Pond are here for big-time physical attackers. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop to our first match, showcasing Lugia. We're going up against the dreaded Samazenta in match number one. This Pokemon has been phenomenal in Scarlet and Violet, and it's always been a problem for me when going up against it. Furthermore, they're rocking out with Grimmsnarl, great Pokemon to set screens. They got Annihilate, Amoongus, Incineroar, and last but not least, they do have, what is that Pokemon? Fluttermane. So I think from here, Lugia is going to be a great lead. Dodge and Fake Outs, Intimidate's really not going to do too much, and if they want to set up screens, we can buy that time to actually just start getting after it, and uh, bulking our Lugia with Combine. So... I like that a lot. I'm going to go into Lugia. I'm going to go into Incineroar. Could be a good lead for us. Just to fake out. I can get down with that. Yeah, we're going to go into Incineroar here. Intimidate as well. And then in the back end, we are going to go into... Could be Gargonacle. Could be pretty good. I mean, Body Press is looking a little scary. But if we have good Terror type, we do have Dragon. I was kind of hoping we had Ghost. I was going to say that can work out well, especially up against like Body Press Samazenta. Um, hmm. Could go into Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch could be good. It would definitely be good. We could go into Comfy for a little bit of Floral Healing. And in the back end, one more Pokemon. Do I just go Urshifu? Yeah, I like having that crit. I like having that crit, especially up against Bulk Zamazena. Wicked Blow can actually do some nice damage. We like it all around. So we're going to bring Comfy in behind Incineroar. I can eventually just like use Incineroar, maybe swap it out into Comfy, and then just start Floral Healing Lugia. So that's going to be our plan, just to set up the Lugia, have that thing go crazy, have her back in Pokemon kind of help out a little bit. Let's see how it plays out here, but match number one on its way. I'd like to start off with the win, because, you know, kind of kind of steamrolls into the other battles. Usually when we get a win in match number one, we almost every time get a guaranteed winning record. But Zamazenta is going to hop in here. Grimstone is going to follow behind. Um, I think we just fake out Zamazenta here. We just don't allow it to set up, and then we just set up a Calm Mind on top of that. I'm cool with that. While this thing sets up screens, we go for Calm Mind. We go for the fake out. Actually, I could Will-O-Wisp it, but I'm going to fake it out turn one. I am going to fake it out. So fake out's going to fight into Samacenta. Let's see what Grimstone is going to do. Probably set up a screen, right? Then you're going to go for a fake out, which is totally fine. We got that Covert Cloak. We got that Covert Cloak. So we get off a free Calm Mind turn one. I do like this a lot. Um, I could start throwing Burns around, which wouldn't be bad. Set up another Calm Mind. I actually like that a lot. So you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for another Calm Mind. I am going to go for a Will-O-Wisp over into the Samacenta slot. We're just going to start throwing Burns. So out comes Light Screen. Light Screen's galore. Combine's gonna fly here. And are you going for Iron Defense or are you just gonna start attacking me with like Body Press into Incineroar? You do have options here. You do have options. You could just attack my Incineroar. And now you're gonna go for that Iron Defense, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. Will O Wisp is gonna land, which is beautiful. And I don't know if that negates any Body Press damage because that goes out off of defense. But this thing is a physical attacker, so. Not too sure how will o -Wisp works on that. So honestly, I don't mind if you take out my... Uh, I honestly don't mind if you take out my Incineroar. I'm just going to start attacking here. I do have Light Screen up already. I could go for a Combine boost, or I could just start throwing Arrow Blast. I could go for Earth Powers. I mean, Earth Power might just KO you. I could Hard Swap if I want to into, like, Comfy at this point. 
and just save her instant war. I think that's my best bet. Maybe we should have just uh Maybe we should have just Earth Powered the uh well, not Earth Power, Will the Wisp to Grim Strong because Earth Power is going to fly into this uh, Zamacenta slot now. And most likely, I would think it would have a hot shot of KO in it. But I like her typing here. He is going to end up going for a party shot, which is fine. Drop our special attack to plus one. So we might not be able to kill Zamacenta at this point. But I like where we're sitting. I do like where we're sitting. So Grim Strong gets to swap out. We know he has to fake out on Grim Strong. That is something we have to watch out for. They know we have Covert Cloak. And they're going to go into Incineroar here. So I'm not too worried about Incineroar. I have my Incineroar in the back end if I want to hard swap into it. And Earth Power is going to fly. We outspeed and we do decent damage. I mean, wish it was a little bit more. And Body Press is going to fly into Confi, which Confi soaks rather well. So obviously they can fake out the Confi. They could just go into a parting shot here. I could go for a Combine setup here, which wouldn't be bad. I wouldn't mind just Combine setting up. And then maybe just pop it. We could pop a trick room. Um, you're probably faking out the comfy, most likely. Hmm. I'm just going to go into Draining Kiss here. Let's try to get back a little bit of HP. So Draining Kiss is going to fly here. Most likely, maybe going for a knockoff here. Most likely going for a knockoff. Or even another parting shot. So I'm going to set up another combine. Get the combine back boosted. I could floral healing my Lugia up whenever I want. Um, you could be going for a Heavy Slam, too, with Zamazenta. And now you're just going to go for a Behemoth Bash, which, I mean, that we so because, you know, burn damage and intimidate. Out comes the knockoff, actually doing a big chunk of damage to us, which I do not like. And you're going to knock off my Covert Cloak. All right, so now we're sitting here. We definitely need some HP back onto the Lugia. And I think we just start getting after this thing, right? We could go into the Fairy Terror type, which honestly isn't too bad. Honestly, isn't too bad to go into the fairy terror type. Do we want to go into the fairy terror type? I really don't want to. I really don't want to use my terror type here. So I'm just going to go into earth power, and I'm just going to go into floral healing. I'm just going to keep Lugia at high HP set. So yeah, it's going to be our plan. So we're leaving Zamazenta on the field. We're playing this one a bit slower. And we get Lugia back up to almost full HP, which is beautiful. Earth power, how much damage are you doing? You're doing solid damage. So that's solid damage there. He's going to be able to eat up a berry, and we might just want to help hand and KO that next turn. I don't know. Let's see what he ends up doing here. Iron Defense is going to pop out here again. So he's going to Iron Defense bulk up a little bit more. Uh, you're probably going to go for a knockoff here. And now you're going to go for a parting shot, which is fine by me. I'm still back up at full HP. So from here, I could go Helping Hand into a... Uh, I don't have Covert Cloak anymore, which is kind of tough. Which is tough news. I do not have the Covert Cloak anymore. He's going to go into Grimstraw. So he could fake me out. He could go into, obviously, another parting shot. But from here, I'm just going to protect here. Just not allow him to do his thing. And I think we just attack. Maybe get some more HP back with Confi. Draining Kiss up. I'm cool with that. Because, again, we don't have Recovery Coke anymore. He knocked it off. So we're slowly just chipping up damage here. It does look like he wants to go for another parting shot in the Lugia. And just swap back out. That does look like the play that he wants to make. And now he is going to go for a fake out, which we're just like bypassing because training kiss goes first. The nice big protect on us. Zamazenta is going to follow through on the Comfy. Comfy is soaking that body press, which is solid. And we're able to eat up a berry now. Are able to eat up a berry. A nice, lovely berry. So I could honestly just start calm mining, but I think I might just get rid of the Zamazenta. In all honesty, Light Screen's gone. I know that's been helping him out a little bit, and I think we just get rid of the Zamazenta here. I really do. I think we just go Helping Hand and we uh, get rid of Zamazenta. Because chances are you're going to set up another Light Screen. Or you could Parting Shot. Light Screen has been doing me dirty a little bit here. But, I mean, if you're just going to keep it on the field, we have Crit. We have Crit Pokemon in the back end. So, yeah, there's the Light Screen. We do end up going for the Helping Hand. And we should get rid of Zamazenta, no problem here. Plus one still, which is good. And we say bye-bye to you. Cool, so Zamazenta, gone. Get it out of here. Get it out my face. They do reset the Light Screen. Again, we have Urshfu in the back end. They could bring out Incineroar. And if they do bring out Incineroar, I might just hard swap into my Incineroar. Which would be our best bet, right? Yep, because they're going to intimidate us. We're both special attackers. I'm going to intimidate them, making them do not too much damage. And they could just end up parting shotting into their next Pokemon if they want to. So yeah, from here, honestly, let's just attack. Let's just go for Aeroblast into 
into you, and then we'll just hard swap into Incineroar. Cool. I like what we're saying. I like it. You could be going for a knockoff if you want to. Definitely your options. You have options. You have options. But Intimidate's going to help us out tremendously. Um, we got rid of the restricted Pokemon. I'm not really too worried about Incineroar and Grimstar. I mean, they could be a little bit of pesters, but they're not doing crazy damage, especially up against our bulky guys like Incineroar and Lugia. And plus, now they're Intimidated. Awesome. I like it. So far, I like where we're sitting. Arrow Blast going to fly. Do some nice damage. No crit. A crit would have been nice. And Flare Blitz is going to go after Confi. So everything's working out pretty well here. Everything working out pretty well. He's going to do that. Probably Spirit Break now. And you're going to Spirit Break into the... Oh, wow. I'll take that all day. Into the Incineroar slot. Incineroar. All right. Um, from here, I kind of just want to keep pestering this... Uh, I kind of just want to try to get rid of Grimstraw. I know both of them probably can't attack. And honestly, I'm just going to fake out and uh, try to take out the Grimstraw here. I want Grimstraw gone more than anything. So I really don't want him setting up a Reflect. Let's be honest here. Get it on at my face. So now Incineroar can't swap, which is awesome. Unless it goes for a Parting Shot this turn, which I don't think it does. It does not. That's fine. So he can't swap, which means Intimidate's just going to stay on it. Which is huge. Which is huge. So he's going to be minus one for the rest of the match. He's going to go into Amoongus here with Terra type. They could definitely Terrasilize. Um, from here... Right, they didn't use Terra yet, right? Let me just make sure. Yeah, they didn't use Terra yet, so they're probably going to Terrasilize Amoongus. Um, I think from here we just try to KO this Incineroar. To be honest here. To be honest, I think we just try to KO Incineroar. I mean, my Incineroar has safety goggles, doesn't it? It does, so it can't be spored, which is good news for us. I'm just going to actually knock off Amoongus' item. And finally, they cancel battle. So we play that one perfectly. We get a sweep in match number one. Usually when I'm playing Lugia teams, that's how the matches go. Real slow pace, kind of slow play. And we usually end up winning once we set up this Lugia. It's pretty hard to take out. But we're going up against kind of a tougher team here with Alolan Ninetales and Kieran White. Now... This snow combo right here can really rip into my Lukia, considering it's a flying type Pokemon. So we're going to have to watch out for that and watch out for this uh, War Belt. Because chances are, they're probably just getting that off. So for our lead here, I like Incineroar and Lukia. Just because Fake Out and maybe setting up a combine could be really good up against all these different special attackers. Um, I also like Urshfu in the back end because, again, if a War Bell's up, we're going to need some critical hits just to deal some big time damage behind screens. Our final Pokemon, I do like Gargonackle. Not going to sit here and lie. Gargonackle is just a solid little Pokemon. So I am going to end up bringing that guy. I like it. I like it. So we're 1-0. Looking to go 2-0 and, and guarantee ourselves a winning record. But I think this one's going to be tough, man. I feel like Kieran White and, uh, what's that Pokemon? Alolan Ninetales is just such a strong combo if you can't really counter it. Because War Veil is just, it's just so good. It's just so good. But at least uh, Arrow Blast has the chance of critting. And Wicked Blow on our team is going to crit every single time. Because they're probably leading just to weather, right? Okay, they're not going to lead Kieran, which actually I like a little bit better here. I mean, I do have Incineroar. Um, and from here, I think we just allow them to set up a War Veil, to be honest. To be honest, I think we just allow them to set up a War Veil. Or we could waste another turn with them. Combine's going to be good for us. Um, I could just use my Berry this turn and honestly just fake out Ninetales. But Ninetales could be Curve Cloak. Or it could have Ghost Terror. It might have Ghost Terror. We're going to fake out the Primarina here. We're going to fake out the Primarina just in case it wants to Ghost Terror. And it doesn't. It happens. It's fine. It might be Cobra Cloak regardless, but it's probably likely. So, out comes the Roar Belt. That's fine. We're going to fake out the Primarina. We're going to get off a free Combine boost. So, now with Combine on the field, um, we might want to just hit that Terra button and maybe just hard swap our Incineroar. That wouldn't be bad. Maybe just try to set up another Combine. Another Combine could be good. Another combine could be good for us. Yeah, I think we went to Rasslash you and just combine boost. So we're gonna go for another combine. I think for you, we're just gonna hard swap into maybe Urshifu here. Or even Gargonackle. I mean wide guard could be good. Um I'm scared of the water move. Did we just stay in here? Try to get rid of some items such as leftovers. I wish we had a parting shot. You know, I'm just gonna go for a flare blitz in this slot. Let's try to do some damage here. I really don't feel I really don't feel comfortable hard swapping right now, to be honest with you. I really don't. I mean, now would be the time, but I just don't want to hard swap. I really don't. So 
So we're swapping into a fairy terror type to try to pull off another combine just for that nice little special defense boost. And we'll see what they want to do. Blizzards probably. They're gonna encore me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Encore? Encore me. You're gonna encore me. So now we're combine boosting. Looking a little scary. We don't like this. <laughs> we don't like this. How much damage is this Florida Blitz doing? And hopefully we outspeed Primarina. We don't. You're gonna go for combine. Hold up. Wait a minute. Good thing we didn't hard swap in Sinor. So now we're combine boosting. How much damage is Flare Blitz doing? At least half? Show me at least half. That's half on the news. Alright. So, we have a little issue here. We need to get rid of this Ninetales. We need to get rid of Ninetales right now. We need to get rid of Ninetales. I don't mind being awkward in a combine because I'm just boosting right now. But, we need to get rid of Ninetales to do anything. So, I'm going to stick with a Flare Blitz here. We're going to hope that he's not going for a water move. Because, again, I just need to get rid of this Pokemon. And he needs to go. It needs to go. Because if I can keep this Lugia on the field with this many combine boosts and get rid of this Ninetales, that could be really good for us. But he's going to end up withdrawing Ninetales and just let us go for Flare Blitz this year. And you're going to go into Kiram, I'm guessing? Yep, Kiram's going to come out here. Good thing it is a special attacker. You might even combine boost your uh, Prima Arena here again. But we're just combine boosting up. We are combine boosting up. Combine's gonna fly from Prima Arena, and that's a Pokemon they're not gonna swap. So to be honest, uh, we have one more turn left of going into these combines, and we're bulking up pretty well here. So Flare Blitz gonna fly here, do minimal damage to this thing due to Roar Veil, and we'll take some recoil damage here. So from here, we have one more turn left in this Encore, and if they don't swap into Ninetales here, we're just gonna be plus four on everything. So I, I kind of like where we're sitting. So I think from here, we just stay with Incineroar. I think we just keep going, maybe just start knocking off items. Maybe knock off the leftovers here. Yeah, I think we knock off the leftovers, or at least try to. Or maybe we should have dropped another Flare Blitz into Kirin, because the problem is if they swap back into Ninetales here, they can keep us in the Encore, which is a slight issue. And they don't. They just go for an Earth Power here. They're just going to keep our Incineroar on the field, actually. We survived that, and we set up another Combine. So now we're sitting plus four Special Defense, plus four Special Attack. And if I could just pull off a crit in the Prima Arena with Aero Blast, whoo, that's looking spicy. That's looking spicy. Even though you're bulking up, you're, you're getting on my nerves here. But we're getting rid of your leftovers. We're not dealing with it anymore. We're getting rid of your leftovers. I'm going to say bye-bye to your leftovers. So playing this one slow. Playing this one slow again. My Encore's over, which is gorgeous. We love it. And this Encore actually worked out perfectly because we're still at full HP. And we're just going to honestly just rip onto this right side. Prima Arena, you can be bulked a little bit. Um, that's fine. And we're just gonna try to throw a burn onto Primarina if we can. But chance are they just KO me with like Blizzard with power. Whatever they want to do, because I'm lowing up HP. So Primarina honestly looking a little scary. Plus three, plus three on uh special defense and special attack. But But My Lugia is right there with it. My Lugia is right there with it. Air Blast gonna fly here. And it doesn't even KO that thing. Being plus four, that's kind of annoying. And Hyper Voice is going to come across here and do that. Okay, so you get a crit onto my Incineroar. No big deal. Incineroar is dying to that regardless. But Lugia is sitting in a pretty good spot. Snow is going to stop. Uh, they could be forced to bring it back out. Uh, as much as I want to go into you, I could honestly just Wide Guard here. That's not a bad play. I'm going to go into Argonacle and send a Wide Guard. Because chances are your guys' only hitting moves are going to be double hitting moves. Or stab, I should say. Hyper Voice... Blizzard, Icy Wind. Yeah, we're totally Wide Garden. So from here, I'm going to go into Arrow Blast here. And I'm just going to throw a Wide Guard. As much as I want to go into Salt here, here and throw it into the Prima Arena, I think Wide Guard is just so good for us. Because I think Gargonacle just dies out easily, no problem. Especially without... Uh, especially up to Hyper Voice. This thing's plus three on Special Attack. It's just going to wipe the floor with him. So I'm going to go for Wide Guard, protect us from that. Um, Earth Power is going to fly into the slot. And it does some nice damage. Some nice scary damage. Air Blast going to fly. Give me a crit here. No crit, but still, I like the damage. And there's the Hyper Voice. So cool. We Wide Guard block that. Um, I should probably go for another Wide Guard here. Or I could just protect the Gargonacle. This is solid so far. This is a solid match. A solid little matchup. 
could get rid of Kiram here. I am going to get rid of Kiram. And I kind of wish that I just had like protect because I could go into you. But chances are you die and I'd rather save you. So I'm just going to go for another wide guard. Hope that he's not going for it. Or hope that he's going for hyper voice. So let's wide guard again. Might just go for earth power. Maybe we can survive this earth power. I don't know. Earth power kind of did a nice chunk of damage. And survive it. Nah, you don't. So we don't survive it. Wide guard's still on the field. So I think if you go for hyper voice, which you might do, you would just soak it. No problem. And Arrow Blast gonna fly, finish off the cube. So we're playing this one slow. I mean, this Aurora Veil is really just saved him, right? This Aurora Veil just really saved him. So from here, this thing's gonna combine boost again, which I don't mind considering I outspeed it. Um, now I get to go into my Focus Ash Pokemon. I might double down in Pre Marina this turn. I might just double down in Pre Marina. Arrow Blast, Wicked Blow. Again, Aurora Veil's looking scary, but still. I think we can, if we double down like that, we should be able to KO. So let's see if they go back into maybe Nine Tails here again. No, they're gonna go into Urshifu of their own. So both Urshifus come out onto the field, looking a little scary. Who do I attack here? Do I go after their Urshifu now? I kind of want to. I think I kind of have to. I'm gonna go right into the Urshifu. So I'm gonna go after Urshifu. Uh, I could detect here, but I think just going into a nice little Wicked Blow here is probably our play. And just trying to get off some damage on the pre marina. I know it's not very effective, but the critical hit's gonna still do a, a nice chunk of damage. So we'll see a terror pop out here, probably into the Urshifu. Yep, going into straight dark. Yep, that's fine. I mean, Arrow Blast can still potentially KO unless you're Focus Ash. I'm kind of hoping we get some crits here, right? Arrow Blast, give me a crit. What you got here? I think that's a crit. It wasn't a crit, you're just Focus Ash. So we're just still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. So I can sucker punch that thing next turn. Close combat gonna fly. We're gonna sash up here. We are gonna sash up here. And he's gonna KO my Urshifu. We're KOing my Urshifu, which is kind of sad news. Definitely sad news. Unless I can KO the Pre Marina, but I doubt. I doubt we KO the Pre Marina. Get off some nice damage, but we don't KO the Pre Marina. Going for Hyper Voice? Yep. Alright, so Urshifu down. I wish we had a double hitting move. And we're sitting here. All right, War Bell's finally gone. Um, who do I take out here? You have to pretty much choose. I mean, your moves are kind of weak, right? I mean, Wicked Blow can still do some nice damage. I'm gonna get rid of Urshfu. I'm gonna go for Earth Power rid of Urshfu. I'm gonna get rid of this Urshfu. I get rid of Urshfu. I am Special Defense bulked, but this thing's Special Attack bulked. Um. I know I outspeed this. I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping here. Since the Warvel is gone. Since the Warvel is gone, oh, this is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping I could just KO Pre Marina with this next shot. And then just one on one this all in nine tails, right? Lugia, you got this. Something I gotta hope for is no protects, right? So I'm gonna go for Arrow Blast to finish off you. And then I think Ninetales will go for an Aurora Veil. No, it goes for an Icy one. So you might outspeed me now. You might outspeed me now. This could be tough. No, we still outspeed it. That is huge. That is huge, us outspeeding this thing. That is massive. That's thanks to the Cobra Cloak. I forgot. Our, our speed didn't even drop because of Cobra Cloak. Love me, the Cobra Cloak. That's huge. So now we're sitting here 1v1, and if we just land an attack on Ninetales, we win this game. Lugia going nuclear. No freezes? No freezes. Don't do me. Thank you. Arrow Blast coming out here. Oh, wait. We're missing? We're missing? If you crit now, I'm going to be so upset. If you crit me with a blizzard or get a freeze with blizzard, I would be so upset now. Blizzards are going to fly here. We're soaking, no problem. And Arrow Blast going to finish off this game. Let's go. I told you guys. Lugia is insanely strong. Let it bulk up. They actually encored me in the combine. We went plus four. It was game over from there. I can't believe our last opponent just let us set up plus four. They probably would have beat us if they didn't encore my Lugia, but hey, we'll take that all day. Lugia getting after it. Plus four special attack, plus four special defense. That thing was just a huge start, but we're 2 0. Going up against a Mi Rhydon team with Iron Bundle, with Galarian Moltres, Iron Tusk as well, which is a super cool Pokemon, and then Annihilate and Ogre Pond. Um, I think for me, Lugia is just going to be a solid lead for us again. Uh, we're going to have to watch out for Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle's just solid all around. We could go into a Fake Out user, such as Incineroar, to just help us set up. Or we could bring Lugia in the back end with Incineroar. But who do I think they're going to lead? Probably Iron Bundle me ride on. That's a little tough, considering I cannot really just take out Terrain. 
Hmm. I put on me right on scary. Terrain is just scary for us. Um, from here, I mean, we could just go into Urshifu. I mean, Fake Out is just going to be good for us as well. And honestly, I think we go Incineroar Urshifu with Lugia in the back end. That's something I like. And then we could just go with like a stall Pokemon such as Gargle Knuckle. I mean, you got Wide Guard. You got a few other things on your on your, on your your plate. So that is what we're going to do here. Man, I wish we had Terrain Control. This one. Now this one's going to be tough. I said the last one's going to be tough. This one seems even tougher. No Terrain Control on this team either. I feel like that's where it lackluster. So no Weather Control. No Terrain Control. It's still a pretty good team considering it's kind of just based around setting up Lugia. And once you set up Lugia, it's kind of just out bulking a lot. Because obviously it gets a special uh, special defense boost. And then Incineroar can cover the physical attackers, right? Let's see who they end up going into. They're going to go Annihilate. They're going to get a Defiant boost right off the rip. Mm. I was kind of hoping that was not happening. But I can fake out Ogre Pond, obviously. Or I can just double down into Annihilate here. Which might be my best interest. It might be my best interest. I mean, Ogre Pond could go for Follow Me. That is an option. So maybe we should just fake it out. Fake it out, go Dark Terror, Wicked Blow. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. I'm so down for that. Let's see how this one plays. So we're going to Terrastalize here. We're going to look to just rip. He's probably going for a Drain Punch into Incineroar, so I would love to just, you know, just take out this uh, this Annihilate. But Annihilate is a bulky Pokemon. It honestly is. I'm not going to not gonna sit here and lie. It's just a bulky Pokemon all around. The Fake Out is going to fly into Ogre Pond. We allow it to not go for Follow Me. And Wicked Blow is going to follow through here and... We're trying to KO here. Can we KO? We don't KO. Hurts the soul. We do flinch the Ogre Pond, and he's going to Drain Punch me. I do have Sash, which is good news. Which is good news. I do have Sash, and... um, I think he would be going for Follow Me here, correct? Oh, man, that HP is ridiculous. That HP is a bit too much for me to handle. That HP is a lot. That HP is a ton. Um, I would love to throw just Burns around. In all honesty. In all honesty, we're going to throw a burn here and we're just going to detect. And just see how he wants to play. Because I think you go for follow me here, right? No, you're going for Ivy Cudgel. He's going for Ivy Cudgel, Drain Punch. That is tough news. This thing being plus one. Can I survive this? I don't. So we could have just Sucker Punch, man. I mean, Sucker Punch probably wouldn't have KO'd with all this HP this thing has, but oh my lord! Annihilate just, just doing me dirty. There's no other way to put it. There's just no other way to put it. Annihilate just doing me dirty. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to do from here. Rage Fist, scaring me. All, oh, everything is scaring me right now. Everything is scaring me. I'm just gonna go for an Arrow Blast here. I'm going to go for Arrow Blast. I am going to double down into an Eyelip. Just like to go for Sucker Punch. And try to get rid of this Pokemon. But yeah, this is not looking good for me. It is not. And actually, this should KO. Alright, so we get rid of an Eyelip. Speed's, speed's working pretty good on our side. And we do pick up a KO. So that's tough there. Ivy Cudge are going to finish us off here. And I could just take out this... I could just try to take out this uh, this Ogre Pond next turn with Arrow Blast. But the thing is, if it rationalizes, then it soaks rather well, right? Because it gets a special defense boost. It's going to be neutral. I get to go into Gargi here. So Gargi not going to come out here. Um, real tough news for us. This is real tough for us. And they're probably going to go into Miraidon, which is just forcing my Lugia to rationalize, right? Yep, there's Miraidon. Oh, man, this one's tough. I told you guys. I told you guys this one would not be sweet to us, but hey, at least we're 2 0, so if we lose this one, we still have a winning record on our, on our hands. Um, we don't even have Terra. I totally forgot. We don't even have Terra, so this one is just. This one's just not look good, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I think I'm pretty much forced to iron defense up. I don't even know. Let me just throw a Salt Cure in the Ogre Pond. I do have multi skill, so like, if now it's a turn to attack. I do have multi skill. All right, but we're just gonna protect this turn. That's fine. So protect comes out here. He does end up spiky shielding. Ah, even just just makes things worse. And every, and all, every single move is just getting deleted. Every, every move is just not 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 good for us. So yeah, if we're gonna attack here, we're just, I'm gonna I'm still gonna throw salt here into Ogre Pond, and I guess I'll just Earth Power. 
Maybe hope for a crit. <laughs> this is just brutal. This one's over. This one's over. Unless they make some mistakes here. But even through multi scale, this still, this still, still probably cares, right? Yeah, even through multi scale. Mirai is just a real deal, so. Yeah, it's gonna be game. At least we don't get swept here. That was just a bad lead on my part. Honestly, just a good lead on their part. I wasn't really expecting the Annihilate, but they pulled it out there. I have because of flies, and that's one shot my Gargonacle. So, GG's to our opponent. They get a crit there, too. Just to rub it in my face. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, rocking out with Lukia in today's video. Love this team so much, and I proved to you guys that this team is rather strong. You got Lugia setting up with Calm Mind, Incineroar Confi helping him out with HP recovery and fake outs, and then you have Gargonacle, Urshfu, and Ogre Pond in the back end to clean up the rest of the mess. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.